All right, listeners and subscribers, hope all is well. So with all this vaccine propaganda we're being bombarded with, right, I thought I'd put this out here. And now for those more keen, you'll probably understand the implications. Uh, For those not, let me go ahead and spell it out for you. You have to understand that pop culture, media, even things, you know, on television, they have a somewhat accurate uh, representation, a reflection of what goes on um, in society, right? So the clip that we're about to see, right? The measles couldn't even kill the Brady Bunch, right? Because the measles used to be something harmless, something that kids would wish they got because you didn't have to go to school. And once you, um, once they passed, you were cured from forever. You never got them. Okay. And family members used to deal with the measles. Okay. They were just like the chicken pox and they started vaccinating against this stuff. The stuff was like getting a cold. Okay. The stuff wasn't deadly. And what I'm just showing you, it's interesting because Hulu pulled this episode off of their streaming service. I think CBS did as well. Um, they, they don't play it on their their network. So it's very interesting, all right? The measles wasn't this big thing to be scared about. Now they're saying it's more deadly than the bubonic, bubonic plague. It's like, come on, man. This is straight propaganda. Let's play the clip. Hi. Peter. What are you doing home from school? They sent me home. Measles. That's either measles or a strange case of red freckles. You have got a temperature. They told me 101.1. What's the record? Never mind. Oh, are you sure it's the measles? Well, he certainly got all the symptoms. A slight temperature, a lot of dots, and a great big smile. A great big smile? No school for a few days. Say hello to my dotted son for me. Tell him I'll bring him some comic books, and I'll see you later, dear. Okay, honey, bye. Boy, this is the life, isn't it? (laughs) Yeah. If you have to get sick, you sure can't beat the measles. That's right. (laughs) No medicine. Inside or out. Like shots, I mean. Don't even mention shots. Yeah! <laughs> measles, measles, measles. Well, all the kids have now had the measles. So have I. Well, I had them years ago. Looks like the Bradys are finished with the measles. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> You're not through yet. Alice, don't tell me you're coming down with the measles. Oh, I hope so. I'd hate to think I was just learning how to blush at my age. (laughs) Now, whether you believe it or not, because look, they put truth disguised as fictitious entertainment, okay? They put soft disclosure out there. They put a lot of truth in in television series series and shows, all right? And all this was was just just like somebody coming home with a cold. Hey, mom, I'm sick. Can I stay home from school? This is what this used to be. And now all of a sudden, it's the most deadly thing. There's vaccine mandates. You get... You can, uh, you can get fined up to $1,000, go to jail, get banned from public places, uh, threatening the closing of certain establishments and schools and yeshivas all over this. This is absolutely insane. This is the definition of overcorrection. Look, if the measles couldn't kill the Brady Bunch, uh, what the hell do you think it's going to do to us? Uh, how, who knows? Maybe maybe the powers that be play their hand and they manipulated the, 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 the strain here and maybe now it's more deadly, right? But look, this, was, this used to be something uh, that was common and once it was done with, you never had it again. That's the truth. California Carter, signing off.